Welcome. Hello, everyone. Getting my surgery team. Okay. We're just going to do a point tail. Oh. So basically, I use it. Basically, I use this and this. It's a brush and water. And then I just go like. Eh, eh, eh. I have this. I don't know what you guys call it, but I call it a cola. Yeah, I grab all my hair and then I make sure to brush the back. Because that should be lumpy. And then. Boom. And then we're going to do our edges. And then I use this for my edges. You guys are probably going to come for me because you're not supposed to use these for your edges, boot. Do I look like I care? No. Ew, this looks so ugly today. What the hell? Boom. These are bad. Whatever. Alright, so my boyfriend got me this. It is called Pure Seduction Noir by Victoria's Secret. It smells really good. Mm. Alright, guys. I'll see you in the car. Alrighty. I am in the car now. Mom, do you want to be in the video? So, I'm on the highway. So, right now, I'm not really nervous on the nervous scale. I'm like a three. Look, this is the first thigh that they're going to take out. And then this is, I can't really see my phone. This is the second one. You see on the bottom? So, it's going to be both eyes that they're going to dissect. And... Hopefully I'm not hungry afterwards. Which I think I am going to be hungry. If I'm hungry, I'm not going to be able to see, so my mom's going to have to feed me. So, I've had I've had these. This is not really a sty because the sty is when it's like bothering, but it doesn't it's like just hardened, a hardened sty. That's called like a collagen. I'll put it on the screen. Basically, it's just like a sty that has hardened over time and it doesn't like, it's not, it doesn't go away. So like I've tried, whoop, I've tried like the, the, what's it called, the remedy, the remedies, like ointments, putting, the, yeah, ointments, they even gave me antibiotics once. So I tried all of that and like they still stayed, they've been there for like, they came like a year ago and then they came back and they haven't left. So they need to get scooped out so that's what we're gonna do and i'll let you guys know how that goes i'm in the doctor's office well not office i'm in the procedure room Let's see there's like stuff to have surgery and then i'm here nervous level up to six nerve scale Six. Right, it's recording now. All right, guys. I'm back. So it was. I'm gonna explain what happened because you guys couldn't see. So first, they put numbing drops, right? And then it was like numb, obviously. And then the doctor like injected, injected the the style on this one. He did this at first, so he injected it, and then it got bigger, right? It got bigger, bigger, bigger. And then he opened it with a knife, and then he scooped everything out like skirt. And then he did the same to this eye. And then they like it was beginning a lot, so like they did the kill. What's it called? Catherization. Cat catherization so they like burned it right now it's like hurting this one's hurting i don't know and then yeah so i get to take these bandages off l later on so i can show you guys um how it looks when the bandages are off when i turn them, when i take them off when i get home and like all that stuff so i will see you guys when i get home Okay. Alright guys, I'm back home. I took a little nap 
and now it's been like the doctor said in like two hours i can take out the bandages so we're gonna take them off now well my mom's here my mom like set up the camera and everything so she's gonna take off the, the bandages oh god she put it on my hair the tape it's okay Oh, I can't even open. That's, that looks. That one is worse. <laughs> on the top. No, he did it under. No, no, the eyelid, the top eyelid. Mhm. Mm but does it, is there like a cut on it, or is it? No, it's just bruised really bad. Okay, so the camera. Hold on. Ronda, what are you doing? You open your I can't open this one. Uh. That kind of hurts. Oh, that feels weird. It's okay. I thought it would be worse. I feel something under. Like it feels like there's some, like an eyelash in there. Mm, mm -hmm. same. Alright. Okay, you guys. The bandages are all filled with to do this one open. But... There's like a little bruising there. The doctor said to put some like, cream on it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. Because I feel like just closing my eyes right now. Hi guys. So. My eye is really bruised up. Okay. Look. Um. I don't know why. This one's fine. I'm pretty sure when he put, like, because he put a needle in there. And then he, like, put a lot of liquid. So the liquid made everything inflame. So I'm guessing that's why it's, like, bruised. Because it got inflamed. I don't know. And also the clamp was very, very tight. And I told him. But it didn't, he didn't, like, adjust it. So... I'm guessing it was the clamp. I'm guessing. But it's just bruising. It'll go away in like in like two weeks max. It doesn't really hurt. It's just like I know I have th things on my eyes. Like just before I had two balls on my eyes. This one's still like it looks like it's still there. But the doctor said it's going to start oozing out on its own. So, he didn't really close it up. He left it open. So, whatever needs to come out, comes out. Chilling in my bed. <laughs> I put some ointment and then I did the warm compresses. So, I just need to do the warm compresses like three times a day. That's it. And I put the, you can see the ointment. That's why I look like so um, wet. Because I have ointment there. And yeah. That's it. Alright guys, so, I look crazy, so don't mind me, but this is day two of how my eyes are looking. This one's still pretty swollen. And then this one is beat up completely. Um, I honestly think it was the clamp, because he used a clamp, my doctor used a clamp to like flip my lid over, but it was really tight. And it was it was tight. I told him it was tight, but he was just like, "Oh, we're almost finished," so he left it like that. So I honestly think that's what made it bruise so much. I don't know, but hopefully this goes away soon. Um, I've been doing all the, all the, um, what's it called? Like all the doctors been telling me to do. He's been he told me to clean it with um, baby shampoo. And I have this ointment he gave me. That's why it looks like shiny. Because I put some ointment on there. And yeah, I've been doing the hot compresses. But I'll do that right now actually. Because it's been a while since I did the, since I did a session. So yeah, that's how it's looking right now. I'll give you guys an update probably tomorrow. It's crazy. I didn't know it was going to be this bruised up. But yeah I'm pretty i'm hoping this one looks the same as it did like before i even got surgery 
I don't want to like flip it over. I'm scared because it, it even hurt when I like when I was washing it and then I just went over it like it hurt because obviously it's cut open. But the doctor did say that there was still more left in there, so I just have to keep doing the warm compresses and eventually that bump will go away. But there's still like a discomfort I he I feel here. Same thing with this one. There's still some more in there. That's why you see like that bump right there. There's still some more um like pus in there, so it still needs to come out. That's why he didn't he didn't put stitches or nothing. He left it open so everything can come out. And then heal on its own. So yeah, guys. That's my update for today. It's day two. Alrighty, guys. So here's Melinda. You guys haven't seen her in this video, but here she is. So it has been officially a week since my procedure. And I wanted to show you guys how it looks now. Like after you seen how bruised it was. So this is how it looks. I'm going to insert a picture afterwards also so you can see it clearer. But that's how it looks that eye. And then this eye still looks like a little bump. There's a little bump, but I still have to keep doing like the warm compresses and eventually it will go away. Because the problem before was that it was like clogged. So now that he opened it up, it's going to be easier to for everything to come out. So that's what I just got to keep doing the warm compresses and I'll be good. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys like learned something from this or if you guys are going to have their your own collagen procedure, maybe you learned something. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share. We'll see you guys in the next video.